My interest in research is uh, around health promotion. Uh, so I believe that, um, you know, PAs play a really important role in being patient advocates and, and health advocates, essentially. And uh, we, have, uh, we have a lot to offer and a lot to do. And um, I think there are many, very many different, there are many uh, um, current processes and current clinical uh, frameworks that can be modified uh, and improved to improve patient outcomes. Uh, a lot of work can be done around patient safety. So my, um, and I'm always looking for opportunities and ways to kind of improve patient safety and quality of care that we deliver. So overall, a lot of the projects that I've done to date are around quality improvement. Uh, so I'll, I'll talk about, we've done a number of research projects over the years, but I'll talk about two that we're currently doing right now. One of them is for um, our colorectal surgery patients. So I, I actually practice uh, with colorectal surgery and breast surgery. Those are the two areas. Um, I'll talk about one project for each that we're doing right now. Um, so for our colorectal surgery patients, we have a uh, mobile app that we've developed as a discharge monitoring tool, tool sorry, um, to support patients after they've been discharged from the hospital. There's a lot of evidence that uh, surgery patients are discharged and they're not really sure about discharge instructions and they feel anxious about their recovery at home and they have a lot of questions and, um, and anxiety really about if they, if they should be expecting certain things, what's normal, what's abnormal. So we've developed a uh, discharge mobile app. It's a monitoring system that essentially uh, checks in virtually uh, with patients once they're home. Um, so we've developed something called a daily health check. It's a survey and it asks questions around some of the similar questions that we ask when they're inpatient, like how is your pain, how is your nausea, are you able to eat, um, do you have any problems with your incisions, any problem uh, with your wounds and stomas and so on. So it has a pretty comprehensive uh, questionnaire and some of the outcomes that and data that we're gathering is based on the quality of recovery uh, 15 scale so which is a validated scale um, validated score sorry uh, so so that so the patients fill out that survey every single day that they're home for the first 14 days and I look at the answers to those surveys and if everything is a-okay then they get a check mark and they get a little progress report at the very end of the survey uh, but if there is something wrong or there is you know red flag responses for example they have a fever all of a sudden their wound is leaking some stuff um, or their ostomy has totally blocked up and they feel nauseous. Like we have some built in uh, checks in the app. And so if the answer with that response, then uh, I see that on my dashboard on the provider side, and which is also encrypted and secured. Um, and then I'm able to call them and say, hey, how are you doing? If there's any feedback, I might be able to provide over the phone. I do that. Um, or if I think they need to come into clinic because there's something like a small wound infection that I can address and they can bypass the emergency department where they'd have to stay eight hours to be seen, uh, then I'm able to offer that sort of uh, service as well. Okay, go ahead. So for this project, we actually did a pilot study which we completed and it showed very positive results. Patients loved it. They loved that sort of uh, being able to connect with the surgical team who knows them quite well, who knows what procedure they had and can provide that uh, follow-up. Um, and right now we're doing a randomized control trial, which we're very excited about. We're sort of half, almost close to the end of it. And so far we've seen pretty promising results that uh, it not only does it benefit the patients, it also um, reduces some bounce backs to the ER and readmission, so it's beneficial to the system as well. Uh, so, and we're very excited about it. So that's our first project. And then um, the second project that we just started, uh, which also we're very excited about, is for our breast surgery patients. So just to give a little bit of background, um, most of our breast surgery patients, especially the ones with uh, mastectomies, like that have mastectomies and axillary node dissections. They have a JP, a Jackson Pratt uh, drain placed under the incision. And the purpose of that drain essentially is to evacuate some of this uh, fluid that builds up as part of healing. Um, so we're preventing any seromas or hematomas and uh, ultimately like wound complications. So but we find that, at least it's our clinical impression that a lot of patients come back to the emergency depart department because these drains are not working well, or they're blocked, or they're not um, being evacuated or milked properly. Um, 
and uh, you know either they go to the emergency department because they're anxious about now the swelling and the leakage around the wound um, or they call their physician or the surgeon's office to have a have a look um, we're trying to improve that for the patients and improve the patient outcomes by introducing a JP evacuating device. So essentially, it's a plastic device. It's a very small device that um, anchors onto the JP drain and it milks, essentially strips the tubing, clearing any clot or anything, any debris that may have clogged the tubing. So by doing so, we're hoping to evacuate uh, any seromas or hematomas or any liquid that may have been built up under the incision and uh, preventing wound complications and wound related uh, unscheduled visits to the emergency department or the family physician. Um, so we're excited about it. It's uh, shown to work in other settings, uh, especially in America. And uh, so far, we're very early on into our um, randomized sort of uh, project that we're doing, where some people are getting the drain device and some people are not. Um, and we will keep you in the loop uh, to keep you posted on how things turn out.